Hi. So before I get into the whole uh, recipe part of the video, I just wanted to quickly introduce the topic. Uh, as you know, we're still in lockdown, so I'm still trying to come up with all sorts of stuff that both adults and adults with their kids can do. Uh, so today I'm going to make gnocchi, which has the benefit of being kind of like you know, making your own kind of dough and kneading it and working it like Play-Doh, which is fun for kids. But in the end, it's also good for everybody because you get to eat it. You don't get to eat Play-Doh. Ciao, basta, ora si fa. Vi faccio vedere il video. Ciao, a dopo. Hi, everybody. So today I'm going to attempt something that I haven't done before, which is basically to show you uh, how easy making real homemade Italian food is because I'm going to try and do it without a recipe. Basically, I'm gonna just use the ingredients and go according to the texture of the, the mixture that I'm gonna put together. Uh, a while back, before we were under lockdown, uh, I was taught how to make gnocchi. I don't know if any of you know gnocchi, but they're really good. Let's see how this experiment goes. Basically, this video is for my English-speaking friends and anybody who speaks English um, who would like to learn an Italian recipe, but it's also for my Italian friends who are trying to practice their English. So basically, I'm gonna or show all the ingredients to you and we're gonna get started. Okay, today I have no helper uh, filming me because my kids just weren't in the mood and they're really <laughs> getting tired of me asking them <laughs> to hold my phone and do videos. So I have my phone on a stand and uh, I'll do my best to uh, show you what I'm doing, but it might be a little bit difficult because I don't know. It's on a stand, so. Okay, so basically we have a big mixing bowl. We have one egg. And there's like this cream of wheat, so semolina, which also supposedly is not always necessary. You can actually make gnocchi without, but if your potatoes are kind of like too um, kind of wet, then the semolina helps to kind of soak up the water in the potatoes and it makes the gnocchi a bit firmer. Otherwise, they get all mushy and sticky and they're not good. Um, so I, I have it here just in case. I don't know if I'll need it. But last time, as an emergency, we had to add semolina because the potatoes were way too watery, I guess you could say. And then we have uh, flour, so this is just normal all-purpose flour. Here we have potatoes, these ones are still raw. Potatoes, patate, ah sorry, flour, farina for my Italian friends, egg, uovo, but it's pretty self-explanatory, and the bowl as well, ciotola. Or maybe you guys who speak English want to learn Italian, so you know, as well do both. And then here we have the potatoes. These ones here are already boiled. Basically, I boil them with just in normal water, no salt, and they still have the, the peel on them. And so once they're boiled and they're cooked, I let them cool down and then I peel them. So these are already peeled for you. And the last thing is this gadget, this thingamajig here, um, which I got it in Austria like many, many years back, and it's basically to make mashed potatoes, but it works perfectly to make gnocchi because basically what you have to do is take the cooked potatoes and stick them in here and then squish them through. Um, I guess you could say a potato press? A potato press. That's what we'll call it, a potato press. Okay, and so we have a potato press which don't ask me where you can buy it, probably somewhere online for sure, but worst case scenario, you can maybe 
use a food processor to mash the potatoes and make them because what you want is not to have lumps in your potatoes okay you, you want them like really soft and smooth so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and show you how this thing works let me get these potatoes out of the way so I got my bowl I got my potato press and if it doesn't fall apart on me, I'm going to stick a potato inside, okay? And then I basically squeeze... Oh gosh, this is difficult because they're really cooled down now and... It's a good workout, I don't need a gym. Okay, that was one potato. I'm going to do the other potatoes, but I'm not going to make you watch me do it. But I'll just show you, you can kind of, can you see what they look like? They're like all, like little, little worms they look like actually, okay? So just give me like a couple seconds and I'm going to do the other ones and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm back. I'm finished. As you can see, the bowl is completely full of all the potatoes that have been squeezed through the potato press. And now what I'm going to do, uh, as I was told, um, I'm going to make a little hole, a little kind of like groove or something in the middle of the potatoes. I don't know if you can see it like this. Bear with me. I'm not a professional YouTuber. So as I've told you before, I do my best, but I'm by myself. So, and then I'm going to take the egg, crack it. Try and lift this up for you. Crack it. And then I'm going to stick it inside the little hole. Oh, I forgot. You see, I am seriously an Italian chef's nightmare because I just kind of mm, do stuff without being too organized. So anyway, we said this was an experiment, so it's okay. Salt, I need to add salt. So I'm just gonna grind a bit of salt. Don't ask me how much, because I don't know, but I will at the bottom in the comments section look for a gnocchi recipe for you with the same ingredients as this one that i showed you and then i'll write it down at the bottom okay so that you can have a recipe for yourself all right and then i need to add the flour uh the amount is basically the amount that i need to make it look like and feel like the dough that i had last time when i watched so let's hope this works out i'll start off with a little bit because i can always add more after anyway okay so basically i'm just going to use my hands now and squish it all together like this until i have um a mixture that is uh, workable let's just say because obviously with this i'm gonna have to um create the gnocchi so i need to roll them like i need to roll out a little oh you'll see after i'll show you but maybe i should have read before how much flour i need it's maybe a disaster You see, I would kind of add another egg, but he told me not to, so... The Italian knows better than the Canadian, that's for sure. Let me see. I'm going to try and do a little test. Now it seems kind of sticky still. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I don't know if you can see in the background, there's a, a pot of water that I, I put there to slowly uh, get it to boil because what I want to do once I've, I've made the gnocchi and formed them, I wanted to show you that um, you need to throw them after in salted water and then when they, usually they fall to the bottom and when they're ready, they float up to the top. So I just wanted to like show you that process as well. I moved over here now to where I can work the, the dough or the potato, I don't know what you want to call it. It's called impasto, I think, in Italian, um, because it's impossible to do it in a bowl. So basically, I'm going to add more flour because it's still pretty wet. I'm sure all Italians watching this are like, what is she doing? She's completely destroying 
the gnocchi mixture, but um, yeah, what's important is in the end that it turns out good, that it's yummy and, and that my gnocchi don't fall apart, obviously. Hmm, starting to get quite workable. So I've got a nice ball, nice and you see if you stick your finger in, it leaves a hole, but it's, it's soft, but it's not soaking wet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take some flour, put it on here, okay? I'm gonna do a little test. So what you do is you need to take a little piece like this, okay? It's kind of like Play-Doh, it's perfect for kids really. And then you need to roll it like this. Probably I'm doing this wrong, but like I said, what matters in the end is that it turns out good. Uh, I think this is a too skinny. Okay, so what I was told, and so here what I'm gonna do is add more flour. I'm back. Um, just wanted to tell you the water's boiling, so what I'm gonna do is add coarse sea salt, okay, to the water, a little bit of olive oil so that they don't stick together. Hey, yeah, I'm, it's on the stand, so I'm stuck talking to you like this. Anyway, so I'm gonna continue and then we'll try them, we'll throw them in the water and we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so basically I was taught that you're supposed to take a knife, then you cut them like this and you flick them that way. So, I mean, I'm slow and we'll see. Maybe I shouldn't do too many, right? Okay, the person who taught me this basically told me uh, that he doesn't use a fork to give them the gnocchi shape, he just throws them in like that. But I'm gonna try and see if I can manage because I think they look cuter. Um, with the real traditional shape. It takes obviously way longer to finish, but we'll see. You're supposed to kind of like roll, eh, that didn't work. Anyway, you can kind of, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> see that? Oh no, okay, let's try this. Maybe I should put it down the flower side. Okay, let's see. Well, that kind of worked out. That's not bad, right? Kind of looks like a, a gnocco. Singular is gnocco, and plural is gnocchi. So one, gnocco, and two, if this one counts, gnocchi. It's not gnocchi or gnocco, it's gnocchi. Took me years to learn how to pronounce the G and together like that, gno, but I don't even know if I do it properly. Anyway, now I'm gonna throw them in, let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, the water's boiling. And now I'm gonna throw the nice, the nice looking one in. It's not floating yet. Let me put the ugly one in. Hmm, floating. All right, I'm gonna try. Okay, so I'm going to take them out of the water now. Let's see how they are, okay? They're quite hot. So, they seem cooked in any case. Okay, I'm gonna try now. Mmm, that is so good. Do you see? If I can make gnocchi with no recipe, so can you. But just in case, like I said, I'll put the recipe down underneath in the comments below, okay? So, if you like the video and you like the recipe, give me a like and there will be more recipes coming up, okay? Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you know what's really, really good with gnocchi is um, a ragu, which is basically meat sauce. Um, they call it, I don't know, in other countries they call it like bolognese, but we here in Tuscan we call it ragu, so it's meat sauce. And it's awesome with gnocchi. But I also made it with a four cheese sauce the other day, and okay, that is quite a load of calories, but it's yummy. Bye, see you soon.